Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Smeralda and you are watching Albo Plants. Today I want to share with you the last Halloween edition video for this year. Let's get started. So since the beginning when I knew I want to make Halloween edition videos, I thought directly of two concepts of videos that I want to share and one of those was the spooky report with me which I shared on my channel previously and then I wanted to make a DIY which I was thinking for a long period of time to make even for myself as a decoration I want to put around my plants and also it is quite interesting the fact that it has a kind of correlation with my spooky story so yeah if you are interested to know which was the spooky story then first check out the other video that i'm going to link somewhere here i have seen like a lot of uh, different kind of decorations tattoos and other things regarding this particular, how can I call them, uh, characters that I want to make and they are called Kodamas. So what are Kodamas may you ask? Well Kodamas are spirits of the forest and they are present in one of my most favorite films, animated films, which is Princess Mononoke from Ghibli Studios. In that film there are a lot of different kind of spirits but these particular ones which are called Kodama are the spirits of the forest and they usually show themselves uh, when the forest is healthy and they take care of it and they are attached to trees or plants. So yeah, it was quite interesting and I think that it goes very well with the theme of plants and to decorate the plants because it looks like they will be around my indoor forest, you know, and it means that my plants are healthy. So yeah, I think it is a very nice combination. The materials that I used, I'm going to show and they are very easy to find in your local craft store. It's just the air drying clay and some simple accessories that you need, also acrylic paint. So without further ado, let's get starting with the sculpting of our beautiful and cute and spooky Kodama spirits. So we start out by taking our air drying clay. I'm going to use these tools which are one pointy end and the other one is with silicone. This will help me to create the shapes and also scissors to cut the package and also cut the legs if needed. Always start by making a kind of research for the different shapes that they have and as you can see this clay is brown. So I got another one which will be white. In this project we need the clay to be white because we don't need to paint everything white at the end because this clay is already that color that we need so yeah. I suggest you work with white clay. When it is wet the clay will look a little bit grey but when it dries out it's going to become completely white. So air drying clay is water based so every time that you need to soften it a bit you can use water as I showed you before and first of all we start out by creating a ball for the head and we push on both sides to make the form of the face and also a place where the neck is going to connect with the body, that part here. We start out with the torso and as I'm showing again I'm wetting the clay again to make it softer and we make a more cylindrical shape for the torso, a little bit more elongated than the head. 
So we always, uh, during the time that we are working, check out if we like the proportions that we have and if we need to make adjustment, we do, as I am showing in this part. Yeah, I took a little bit of material off and I made a pointy shape for the neck. If you want to connect two pieces, I suggest to create a texture in the both parts so the clay will have more surface to stick with each other and also use a little bit of water in those places so the clay is going to be glued out with each other. We push the two pieces together, we try to secure them in position and spraying a little bit of water and using the silicone tool that I showed before I am going to merge the two pieces together seemingly. So this part is going to be a little bit tricky because yeah, the clay, as you can see, it becomes more like cream, which is good for connecting them with each other, but yeah, it is a little bit tricky. So I suggest you have your time with this part and don't get too frustrated. You will learn by doing. And yeah, now it is time to make the little legs and the little arms. I make two small cylindrical shapes for the legs and with the same method as I showed you before, I am going to position them and glue them with the rest of the body, like that. And then these are the shape of the arms that I'm going to put also on the torso and using the silicone uh, accessory as I said before use it to push down the edges and also to create the shape you can use also your fingers they are a great tool natural tool and they help a lot during this process of course I'm going to make the cute little butt because <laughs> it's a very important characteristics. And talking about important characteristic, now I'm making the iconic three dots on their face which are for the eyes and for the mouth. So these are round with different shape and seeing the position of the three dots in triangular if you position them slightly different or make slightly different size holes then it's going to create a totally different face expression some of the kodamas has also a shape for the nose and for this one i'm doing that but i will not do it for all my kodamas so this one is finished and this is just the first one i'm going to make a lot of them and i will slightly change the position of the body uh, some i will be doing standing up and some i will be doing laying down and yeah just try to create a very nice basement so the kodamas are not going to fall over once they dry and the ones that are sit or have a position that are seated are a lot more sturdy than the ones that are standing up. So yeah, I'm showing you a time lapse of another one that I did with the same steps that I uh, described you before. This one has a slightly different position and yeah, by making them all different, they are going to look, look very natural and create a lot of uh, interest on your shelf. If you have edges that stick out, then you can use your fingers to smooth them down, of course. So yeah. Try to take away the extra material and make it as smooth as possible, but don't worry, we are going to make it even better with the next steps. So this is how it is going so far and Rudy is also helping me make some because he was quite curious and wanted to try it out and he did quite a nice job actually. So yeah.
These are the ones that we did so far. So now, uh, after we finished sculpting them all, I am going back again with each one to try and uh, clean as much as possible the joints and take away the extra material that is in there. It doesn't have to be perfect because, yeah, Kodamas uh, doesn't have a perfect shape, so in this aspect they are uh, fantastic to make a DIY because they don't need to be perfect. So yeah, just play around and try to clean them as much as possible without like stressing yourself out. At the end it's going to look nice uh, either way. So now it is the next day. I let them dry overnight and here is my last cleanup, which is quite simple but is very effective. With a wet brush, I wet them with water. I am going to brush the surface of all the pieces and this is going to make uh, the surface very smooth and if there are finger um, marks in there it, they are going to disappear and also if you have bumps or sharp edges then it is going to soften all of them so yeah this is going to give your pieces a very professional or a very nice finish so I totally recommend this step so yeah they are turning quite nice Now it is the most fun part for me, which is painting. It is the moment that you realize that your work is coming out very nicely and all your work is paying off. So, of course, I'm starting by making their iconic eyes and mouth with the black acrylic paint. And since acrylic paint is also water-based, the clay is going to suck it out very nicely. So I suggest to make the paint a little bit runny, so it's going to help to go inside the crevices of the eyes and of course of the nose, if you have them. And just be a little bit careful not to paint like other surfaces of the clay, which are going to be white. And of course, if you accidentally paint other surfaces of the clay, then maybe you can uh, use the brush with water to dilute it, take it away, or you can use white acrylic on top to cover it, or even uh, use like a sandpaper to sand the acrylic paint down. So yeah, even if you make some mistake, then you can of course uh, fix them. It's not the end of the world. And yeah, slowly but surely they are all turning out quite nicely. So now on the next step, this is uh, not... Uh, you cannot do it, you can skip this step if you want, but I wanted to add even more dimension and make it a more 3D effect. I'm going to add some shadows with uh, light grey. And first I put the color like without, uh, without blending in too much because yeah, I will use again just a brush with water to go back and try to blend the color out and this is going to work perfectly and the lines are not going to be so harsh they are going to be just as shadows and yeah I think that this adds a lot of character to the sculpture and it looks even more close to the one that the movie has the Ghibli created for the movie because I saw that they have a lot of grey shadows on the body and this looks quite similar to them that's why I'm doing it but it's not necessary you can totally skip this part
So as you can see the clay is dried out and it has become quite white. So there are all the Kodamas that we managed to make. There are 13 in total. I used two packs of air drying clay. So yeah. Every one of them is different from the other and I couldn't wait without positioning them in my plant shelf to see how they will look and I'm totally in love with them. They look so cute but at the same time they have that little bit of creepy vibe which for me it's perfect, I really like it. And hopefully they are going to keep my plants healthy. <laughs> yeah. Here are all the different poses and of course you can change them all the time, position them everywhere where you want them. So these are my Kodama spirits after I finished sculpting them and painting them. And they are still not 100% dry, but I will leave them like for a couple of weeks and then I will give them a top coat so they can be secure and finished. So at the meantime, I'm still going to display them in my shelves and in my plants. I think they turned out super super cute, I'm pretty pleased with the results and also it was quite interesting the fact that also Rudy made a lot of them, like I think half of them Rudy actually sculpted and he did a very nice job as well, so I think that also you can try and make the same and I think it's going to look very nice even for you, so yeah. Here are my Kodama spirits. Hope you liked the video. I hope you find it found it interesting. And of course, if you try to make them, you recreate them using my tutorial or getting inspired from my video, please, please share a photo on Instagram and tag me or send me a message with the photo because I'm very, very curious to see how they will turn out and how you will style them on your planty shelves. So yeah, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching all my Halloween edition videos and I hope you enjoyed all of them. It was quite fun filming them. Also a little bit challenging and I'm a little relieved that I will start to make the normal plenty content. So yeah, I hope you stick around in the future and also don't forget to, as always, support me by liking, sharing this video, leaving a comment down below. What did you think about this DIY? Will you try it for yourself? And also to subscribe if you are not already and check out my Instagram page albo underscore underscore plans. I hope you will have a wonderful Halloween Eve and party and get dressed up and have a very lovely time so i will see you on my next video Pachim.